This important COVID-19 message is brought to you by the Diocese of Natal. Lomlaya is obalulegi lewe COVID-19 ni uletelwa i Diocese ya Natal. Brothers and sisters, since the easing of lockdown, we've become aware of the mindset that life has returned to normal. Many people have disregarded safety measures at a time when we can ill afford to do so. We cannot let our guard down. Yes, life needs to go on, but there are simple measures we can put in place to protect those we love and the vulnerable in our community. Each of us must take responsibility, wherever we are, whoever we are, for curbing the spread of the disease. We urge you to love your neighbor in this moment. Wash your hands, wear a mask, and maintain a physical distance. Wash your hands, wear a mask, maintain physical distance. COVID-19 is real. During lockdown for nearly two months, we lived in a protective bubble. A bubble which kept us as safe as possible from contracting COVID-19. But now that bubble has burst. With the easing of lockdown, we are starting to see the virus spread and people we love and care for being affected. Relaxing of lockdown regulations have led many to make the mistake that all is well. It is not. The truth is that lockdown gave us time to ready our health systems for when the virus truly made an appearance. And that time is now. With Etiquini and Ilembe being affected as hotspots and hospital beds filling up, we cannot be complacent and let our guard down. Every day the numbers rise. Yes, life needs to go on, but equally there are simple measures we can put in place to protect those we love and the vulnerable in our communities. We do not need to be fearful, but we do need to rigorously stick to the health and safety guidelines. We urge you to think carefully about your actions and behavior in this time and the impact they may have on others. We urge you to love your neighbor, wash your hands, wear a mask, and maintain physical distance. There are three safety measures we all need to be rigorously committed to. Masks, social distancing, and washing your hands. There's a lot of information about how COVID is transmitted from person to person. It can sometimes feel overwhelming. One thing is certain, every effort to slow the spread of the virus is crucial. We all have a part to play. It is not the responsibility of certain groups, sectors, races or ages. There are three relatively simple things we can do to protect our family and friends, people we love. And all three are most effective when done together. Wearing your mask. We all know that when we breathe, we release particles into the air. If we are infected with COVID-19, those particles are also infected, even if we're asymptomatic and we don't realize it. By wearing a mask, you minimize the spread of the infected particles to others, or you minimize how, how much particles you inhale. This is especially important when you can't keep your distance, like in a taxi or standing in a line to buy groceries. Wash your hands. We know that washing hands reduces the spread of germs. The same goes for viruses. By washing your hands regularly with soap and water or an alcohol-based sanitizer, you are bursting the protective barrier around the virus. Wash or rub your hands for 20 seconds, then dry them. The germs spread far more easily between wet surfaces than dry. Keep your distance. We know it is not always possible, like when you are in a taxi or on a bus. But when you can, please stand at least 1.5 meters away from others. This distance helps to keep infected particles from when sneezing or coughing, from landing on yourself or others. Scientists tell us that close contact with an infected person for 15 minutes or more increases your chances of becoming infected exponentially. Three simple things. 
the world of difference when it comes to our safety. Let's love our neighbor in this season and not let our guard down when it comes to these things. Wash your hands, wear a mask, maintain physical distance. We need to take extra care as we head into the winter and flu season. Winter is finally upon us with that cold and flu season, which means a lot more coughing and sneezing. We know that coughing and sneezing without a face mask, a tissue, or using your inner elbow releases potential infected particles into the air. With so many people affected by colds and flu each year, it stands to reason that we need to be even more careful during cold months. The virus spreads easily in open and well-ventilated areas. But during winter, we gather closer together for warmth and we shut the windows to keep warm, an environment the virus loves. We know that the 2% of people infected with the virus will have even more severe symptoms. But how do we keep everyone else as healthy as possible this winter? There are some easy ways to boost your immune system. Take vitamin A and C. Take a zinc supplement. Get your vitamin D by standing in the sun for 10 minutes. Eat nutrient food like morocco, morgina and sorghum. Avoid sugar and unhealthy food. Let us take every step we can to care for ourselves and for our families and to love our neighbors this winter.